What is going on guys? My name is Shifu Game, and today we're going to be playing another game by Brett Jackson. Um, this one is definitely not action packed at all. It is much more of a just get in and chill. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to the game in the description down below. But this game is called Jigsaw 360. And so what this is, it's basically a puzzle game. And when I say puzzle, I mean like literally a puzzle like that you would build. But it's in a 360 like a great degree sphere. Um, I don't know if it's low to the ground because I had my headset on the ground when I launched the game. Um, but I guess we'll just try it out. Just to grab the... <coughs> well, that's pretty cool. We're, in, we're like inside of the Earth rather than <laughs> the other way around. Oh, what? So grab the smallest sphere and rotate your hand to the jigsaw to, and see different parts. Drag to a convenient position. Notice the background scene changes to match the rotation of the sphere. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Point a jigsaw piece in the tray below and grab it. Release your grip, then grab to, to a different point. Item close to your hand are grabbed without pointing at them. What even is this? Is this Africa? Here? Sure. Two more pieces have been added to the tray below. Grab a jigs jigsaw piece with each hand and carefully com com combine them at the correct angle. I think this might be just because they're at like waist height. I think, I think this is right. I wasn't sure because sometimes stuff spawns weird. Um, and combine them at the correct angle. Then add the combined pieces to the jigsaw. What is this? Is this uh, over there? Or maybe it's not that. Oh, it's not. It's something else. Maybe it's a part of, yeah, no, it's part of this. Booyah. Part of South America. Drop pieces in the chutes that you decide to return them to the tray or to automatically add them to the jigsaw. Put in jigsaw? That's kind of cheating. Combine pieces that are returned to the tray will reassemble when next grabbed. Only two jigsaw portions can be taken from the tray at a time. Start with the straight edges. So, can you do this? Is that, does that become one? Is that a thing? That's a freaking sick, dude. Start. Oh, okay, that was just teaching you how to, how to play, which makes sense because it was a tutorial. Um, but apparently there are lots of different things. Did I not? Okay, 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 here we go. So Earth, the Guardian, in in boss. Ooh, that sounds cool. <gasps> and it was like all these. I think I think there was. That's cool too. I don't remember if there were pictures that you could download to try different things. Yeah, add more photos. Oh, answer my question. Relaxation. This actually looks like the. Uh, again, it could just be like a, uh, a Japanese setting, but it looks like the area from Raw Data. Temple. Oh, there's tons of them. Uh, the landscape is where we started. Mansion in Marin County, California. Dude, this is fancy. Cherbon, California. There's a dude just chilling here. <laughs> He's got his Gatorade. Uh, I'm just looking at some of the different ones. Fall colors. Dude, fall is awesome. Like, if you ever get to go on a hike when it's like perfectly, the 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 things are changing, uh, the leaves are changing, do it. It's amazing. Uh, I kind of want to do the in boss. Or maybe the guardian. Let's do the guardian. This one looks cool. It actually looks kind of hard too. Oh man. Um. He said start with the straight pieces. Let's let's try fifty just at first. And let's do spherical. 
Oh, 50 is not actually that bad, and I say that as I see this. Oh, <laughs> I said that it wasn't that bad, but then you can't see anything until you do this. Um, this might, is this a boring video? Like, I don't feel like it's a boring video, but maybe it's more for the person watching rather than the person that's, uh, I mean, more for the person playing than the person watching. Um, oh, straight edges. Here. Oh no, this is a this is a top piece. It's kind of cool to see how many different um, like puzzle piece designs there are, and it really is. So just starting with the straight edge will probably be the easiest. Actually, this looks like this right here. So yeah, that's like just saying. So I guess we could just talk about other things while while we're while we're going through the puzzle. But um, like growing up, I always we 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 did puzzles quite often. Um, so maybe like this would this would be another one of those uh, good games to show off to someone that maybe is not completely as comfortable doing. Um, VR things, something that's, you know, that's a, not a shooter and it requires them to <laughs> be, be decent at, at the game to actually feel like accomplished to, to do anything. Um, this is a really big piece. Wow, this piece is huge. Oh, so that's even more cool because these pieces down here are, are smaller than the pieces that would be in the middle, so like this is freaking huge. Can you actually light it up? Oh, that's even, that's that's different, that's so different. So like if you're here, right? And you have this piece and you're holding it up and you're like, hey, that kind of looks like that. And I don't know if that's gonna work right there, but see there's multiple of them quite a few of them actually and so it lines up <laughs> that's, that's really cool uh, I still need to do these straight pieces uh, here but um, we actually had this like big table uh, back to the growing up sorry uh, we had this big uh, it, it was like actually it was I think it was like my grandma's table or something and we always had it like near the window and we would do puzzles and it would be 500 you know a thousand and it wouldn't you couldn't do it in a day it would take you literally weeks if not like a month to do some of the puzzles because they were just so so large Um, and we even started, I think there was like some of them where you would take like a picture and you would, uh, it would be like our family or whatever and we would do something, something of that nature. Where, and there was, there's even been some puzzles where it was a different puzzle piece based off of which way you're looking at it, right? So like if you're looking at it like this, it's one, one shade and one color. But if you look at it like this, it's like the reflective thing. So you know, like when you know, there's like old school bookmarks, whatever that you would like flip back and forth. They were <laughs> they had some of those, and I had one of those puzzles, and that was interesting as well because it uh it you could look at it in the light and it would change. It wouldn't even be the same thing. Where are some more of this pieces? It's kind of like maybe there. Oh. So it's almost like I need to be exactly where this little ball is, is where I need to be looking at so that it replicates um, what it was. But like one of the worst things is to be, you know, building this out and then it's like, oh, and I'm missing a piece. That is the worst. Or we would even do the thing where <laughs> we, would, we would try and build it out, but then at some point someone would hide the last puzzle piece so they could be the one to put in the last puzzle piece. 
So it'd be like, oh, uh, we don't know where it's at. And then it's like, oh, I found it in my pocket. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. You know, you could spin. Because there'd be a bunch of us that would take lots of time to actually try and, uh, try, try and do the puzzle. But everyone always wanted to put in the, the, the piece last. I love how the fact that it just, it meshes with the background. So I'm like, I'm picking the colors, you know, so I did the straight edges for the most part. Uh, there's a couple probably that I'm missing down there. Um, but I'm looking for the, the red because the red seems like it's probably the, some of the easiest to, to actually put in here. I say as I struggle to find this piece. Um, but you know, it's a different way. It's, it's almost like the reflective puzzles that I was talking about where you don't really know where the pieces go. And, so, and there's also another thing here, it's like, oh, the straight edge, right? Well, it's different because you have, this is a straight edge, right? And then this is a straight edge. So it makes it easy in that regard. But it's like, okay, that's a straight edge, but it's a curved piece. So it goes to the top. Um, but yeah, so Brett, Brett reached out to me and I wanted, actually did all the bottom pieces already, so that makes this mean that it goes up here. Uh, but he reached out to me and he was like, you know, this, this might not be your cup of tea, but I could definitely see me just, maybe not standing up and doing it, but sitting down and just kind of, kind of chilling out. And the fact that, uh, it seems like he's giving the option, this is actually a really large piece, so it's going to be over here. Um, the fact that you can add your own pictures, and I guess so. What it, what's, what it's been done is there's an algorithm in the in the code that takes whatever picture, and I'm guessing it makes it three dimensional, and it's actually done really well. So it I don't it doesn't look distorted between the top and the bottom, and so maybe it requires 3D images. I'm not sure, but the fact that it. Uh, you know, the, the code is written in such a way that uh, you could put whatever picture you want for the most part into into the into the game to then play what, what you want. It's really cool. I probably should work on the on the on this guy. I say that as he's basically done. Um, but yeah, like and I'm glad I'm kinda I'm actually kinda glad I did a 50 puzzle rather than one of the, the 128. But yeah, I, if it was just me and I was just like, I just want to try this out, I would definitely do um, a 150. You know, go 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 hard mode. Actually, I don't know where this one goes. Am I missing? Oh, no. Here, there you go. I was looking for the for the, the candle. So this one's like in the shade. It would be cool if these puzzles, and they might be, they might be twisted, or I might be twisting them anyway. Um, but if the puzzle pieces, you didn't know which way was which, so like the puzzles were flipped upside down, and that, that might be the case, um, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying to do these white ones. Actually, yeah, I think they are flipped upside down. Or there's a potential that they could be flipped upside down. And I think this is a good snapping distance too. Like, you're like, it's not gonna give you the hint, but it's gonna, it's, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going right there. And you can change that in the settings too. But, that's really cool. All right, we got another candle here. Um, and I think it would be cool to have a mode, and there might be, it might be in settings or something. Can I check that? So you can change the music and stuff. So, um, and maybe that, that would be too hard, but if you really like this game and you really want to try it, I think it's only like $2 or something. Um, but if you wanted to do this and not have the outline because the outline is like, you know, you look at it and you're like, okay, well, three piece here. 
and so I'm like, okay, well that doesn't fit, and I'm going to look for the next three piece rather than actually looking at the colors or the background. You could look for the matching um, pattern, like the matching outline of the actual puzzle piece, rather than the the, the colors that are on the puzzle piece. Um, we're getting there. We're getting close. Is this backwards? No. Here. Yep. There's another top piece. No. Oh, this is the ceiling. Right? Yeah, it's that piece over there. Or I thought. Oh, no, there's a couple of them. There's different ones. What? Is this upside down? Oh, it was upside down. This is too white. Yeah, right there. Um, we're getting there. No. Right there. That one's definitely going over there. And last. But not least. Oh, so cool. And so did you just restart? Yep, it starts back from the beginning. It's Jigsaw 360. Yeah, I didn't know that that was, that, that was the whole piece uh, back there. I should have tried to put pieces together down there, but I think it always said you could put two, two together. Um, but then I guess if you couldn't figure out where it goes, but return to tray. And I kind of want to see, just right before we go, um, let's just do, well, let's do the, wait, let's do the fall one real quick. Fall colors. I just want to see how, uh, how many it is. See, it's not too bad, 128. <laughs> I like how the pixels just kind of go away. Oh no, I say that, oh man. That would be so bad. Especially that, the, well, yeah, that right there, that's freaking hard mode. <laughs> that's really cool. So I kind of want to see, so like return to tray. And then, say so put in Jigsaw. Did it put it in here? Oh, it did. So yeah, so it, it gets solved. So yeah, I, I, I think it would be like, I don't know if, if Brett wanted to, to to make like one more enhancement, but just have like a thing in settings, you know, a little checkbox. It's like, get rid of lines, you know? Um, and then maybe like, if you do that, you could just increase the snapping. So like if you're holding it and you're holding up the piece, you know, the piece of the puzzle. So I'm like, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, so red's not here. I'm looking around. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe that would be too hard. I don't know. It was just a suggestion, you know, because you would have the kind of the top piece and, and, and then, you know, you hold it down and, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, it kind of replicates that old timey feel of you going from like puzzle piece to puzzle piece, um, trying to figure out, you know, do, do, does this match, does this, and then having that like, that moment of that when it, when it actually does um, happen and there you go because it kind of kind of matches right there but anyway guys I'm gonna end this off here um, but like I said I want to show it off I, I, I'm, I'm very I, apparently I'm looking the wrong way <laughs> but I really do like all the stuff that that Brett works with and the fact that Dimensional was so cool and Breath Tech, I really like it. But if you just want to get in and chill out and you want to do a puzzle, this is a really cool, and, I, and there wasn't even a flat version, I didn't, I didn't show that. Um, but like I said guys, this is Jigsaw 360. If you want to try it out, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. My name is Shane for Games, thanks for watching, and that's all! Keep on playing!